What you guys got another video here for you on how to enable CPU virtualization in your computer's BIOS. Now if you want to run virtualization on your system you need to have this enabled. So if you want to run VM player or VirtualBox and you want to install operating systems in there then you will need to have virtualization enabled. If you don't you're going to end up getting this error message. In this case we've got an AMD uh, system here and you can see AMD-V is been disabled and we need to enable that in the BIOS firmware. So let me just clarify this by going down to the search box here and testing the system information to see whether it is disabled. So go down to the search box and type MS info, system information, and then go down to the bottom. You should see Hyper-V virtualization enable and it says no, and that means it's disabled. So what we can do now is now we know it's disabled, we can reboot into our BIOS. You need to reboot and tap F2 or the delete key or whatever a key is to get you into your BIOS and then tap the advanced mode. This takes us into the advanced mode of our BIOS. Then we need to go to the advanced tab up the top, then CPU configuration. Look for the area which states that you need to enable your CPU, uh, CPU virtualization. In this case, it's SVM mode apply that and enable it and you can see now we will need to click OK to save it and then F10 to save all of our settings and reboot our system. Once we get back to our desktop I'm going to go down to the search box and type MS info and go to the system information and just check to see whether the virtualization is now enabled. So if we drill down to the bottom we can see Hyper-V virtualization enable is now saying yes which means it's enabled and we should be able to install any operating system in VM uh, workstation or uh, VirtualBox or whatever other software you're using to do your virtualization. So open up a VM workstation here and we can now play this and it should work because we have virtualization now enabled and you can see it's now starting to boot up and work. And that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can enable CPU virtualization in your computer's BIOS. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.